Surprise, Sonic! Good morning guys. I just woke up. The day that I'm filming this is... I should have fed my cats before starting the video but they can wait a couple minutes. Get off my pillow. See, that's where we've crossed the line left. The day that I'm filming this is January 5th. And today starts a video that I am so excited about. I've been excited about for weeks. And I can't wait that today is the day for the beginning of this video. So today's video is going to be a 2021 New Year's transformation. And I am seriously so excited. I've done a couple of these videos in the past where you guys come to my appointments with me and by the end of the video you know we look a little bit different <sighs> today's video is so exciting because i feel like what i have planned for this video is going to make this appointments video this transformation video right here the best of the best at least for me at least my preference on me i am very excited for today's transformation video so i set an alarm for nine o'clock surprised i woke up to it because i was in i went to bed late it's 908 so we're good on time my first appointment that i have is today at 11. so in that case i'm gonna go ahead and get out of bed make something to eat feed my cats before i do any of that and then we'll just go from there so tired okay can't even keep up Oh, my robe is in the dryer. I washed it last night. Oh my god, it's freezing. Ooh. So I'm sitting here in bed again. It's almost 9 30. I need to be on the way in like an hour but i really do not feel like making breakfast at all i didn't make coffee last night i don't know i just don't think it's a scrambled egg and dried ass bacon type of day i think i'm actually gonna go to starbucks today and get a breakfast sandwich and a drink from starbucks that's what we're gonna do because that's just going to relieve this feeling of not wanting to get up and continue my morning routine because i just don't I'm not in the mood for that. I really need to start purchasing some different options for breakfast. If I'm tired, I can't even imagine how I'm tired y'all are. I don't know, there's other options, but I just haven't really, I never put in the effort to look or make them. So I am definitely going to shower, wash my face, do my little routine this morning. So we're gonna go ahead and head in the shower. It's gonna be nice and clean. Oh, also I got this text from the hair salon I get my hair done at. And at first I thought it was an automated message until it says, hi there, we're so excited to see you today. We ask that you text us here to let us know when you have arrived and wait in your car or just away from the building until we tell you that your stylist is ready, then you can come up. So, you know how normally in my videos when it's time to get my hair done, I'm literally waiting outside for like 10 minutes and um, they're basically saying, girl, calm down and just slow your roll just a bit it's fine just wait in the car i have no issue doing that and i don't know why i never thought about that i guess because i just didn't want to be late but i'll definitely do that if that works better for them so i just realized whenever i brought that up i did not say anything about a hair appointment today but that is my appointment that i have today we're actually gonna talk a little bit about it once i get in the car because i should go ahead and get ready okay so i just got out of the shower and i have a little velcro towel thing on so don't do me i just put on lotion i use the ogx argan oil of morocco lotion 
it smells so good like you just got out of the shower and now i'm gonna put on my deodorant but yeah whenever i got that text how um, i should stay in the car once i get there i felt bad because i didn't know i was supposed to do that and i would have been doing that a long time ago starting from a while ago because i don't ever want to seem like i'm rushing them or can't be patient or can't wait because i don't like standing out there anyways but if i were to walk up after my appointment started i would feel bad like i'm late so all i can do now is no we'll definitely put that into action today because that's embarrassing so i'm gonna go ahead and wash my face so excited for today's hair appointment y'all and i'm excited to go to starbucks because i just don't want to cook like at all Every time I'm getting ready after a shower, I don't know what I want to smell like as far as perfume. But I just remember I have little sample size perfumes that I don't use as often. They all smell really good. I'm going to use one of those because I just don't want to smell like what I've been smelling like the last couple of days. I mean, I switch up my scent pretty much every day. I'll find a scent I like, I'll wear it out. But then I'm at the point where there's just so many amazing scents that I want to smell like. I can't stick to just one. I've just been switching it up and I smell good regardless in my opinion. Oh my God. My fight or flight really just like Every time I turn the heat on, I don't know if it's because I don't do it frequently or what. That shit sound, smells like the place is burning down. It smells like something's burning. It just smells like a heater, but I smell it through the vents and that shit scares me every time. I always forget because I never have the heat on. I still sleep with it being 59 degrees and it's winter. The only reason I turned the heat on was because I was freezing this morning and I wanted to be able to actually function and move while I get ready. Oh my gosh, especially getting out of the shower. Ain't no way I'm getting out of a hot shower into 59 degrees. Hell Oh, no. Okay, put my eye cream on, sunscreen, moisturizer. I need to brush my teeth still, but let's figure out what we're gonna smell like. I only wanna smell like one scent today. Sometimes I'll do more than one. I don't wanna spray a bunch of them either, but I forgot what this is. It smells good, but I'm not really feeling it. Ooh, why is it the gray? I haven't smelled like this in a while. I forgot about this scent. That's a maybe. I'm definitely overthinking this. Y'all see how extra I am for no reason? Ah, oh. went right up my nose. Smells good, but girl, get that shit out my nose. Ooh, it does smell really good. This is Versace Versace. It fits the just got out the shower theme. All that shit went up my nose. Same thing happens to me when I'm washing my hair in the shower. The product scents are so strong, I sneeze every time. Oh, I don't know what I want to wear. I'm gonna bring my own edge gel because I always complain about my edges not being laid. Not complain, but they just don't do it. So I'm just gonna do it myself when I get into the car. Okay. I don't know what I want to wear. It doesn't have to be anything crazy at all. I always just go in sweats. I think actually what we're gonna do is wear this gray crew neck and gray sweatpants. Then I'll probably wear my Crocs. I don't want to wear anything else. All right, three, two, one. My stomach is empty. My clothes, besides my lotion and my perfume, my clothes smell so good. Ooh, I, I smell good, I smell fresh. I'm gonna show you guys what I am using now to wash my clothes because it makes a big difference. It actually really does. Cause I got layers of good scents on me. Like my clothes smell good, but then I smell good. And I'm gonna spray more perfume too. Now that I have clothes on. My Krennic is from Depop. I don't recommend it. No, I recommend Depop, but go to Goodwill first. I got this shit for $80, which they probably thrifted for five. My friends already yelled at me. Ah. Anything. My sweatpants are from the Nike website. Got them when they were having a Black Friday sale. I have some that flare out, but these are the ones that cuff your ankle. I am so comfortable. I could dress like this every day. Honestly, I could. Fuck my house. I got this. this is my car tripod. I brought it in here so I could have a tripod for my bathroom, but I'm gonna bring it back. You gotta remind me to bring it back to the car. All right, let's put on some jewelry. Jewelry really does make a huge difference. It's like makeup in a way. That's the type of difference I make. I feel like it makes when I put it on. At least for me, y'all probably like, God, I don't. Y'all wanna wear another necklace? I feel like I should keep it simple and not do too much. My stomach is growling. 
I don't know, kind of love it, kind of hate it. My bracelet, where are my hoops at? I can't tell, I feel like this necklace looks way out of place. Got my rings. We don't really need to put emphasis on my busted ass nails right now, but that's another appointment for another day. I'm gonna bring my perfume. I do not want to forget this. I used to wear a dragon necklace all the time. Like for a whole summer I had a dragon necklace on, but now it don't look right. I put a different chain on it because the other one was way too long. I don't like how some chains look by themselves and this was one of them, so I put this pendant on it. But this is the chain it came with. I think I got it 22 inches, which is long as hell. I think, I swear this is longer. No. Do not forget my edge gel. I need socks too, but I definitely won't forget those because I I set up my edge, Jill, so I don't forget. Let me show y'all my clothes washing routine. Let me show you guys the products I'm using. We got some Tide Pods. These are just Tide Plus Febreze pods. This is my first time trying Tide Pods, and I like them. We got some. What's next? Let's go ahead and end with the fabric softener. This is the Suavitil, Suavitil fabric softener. This smells so good. And fa- Strong scents. I'd be wearing them, but they'd be giving me a headache. I actually got these. I have never tried these before until last night. These are the Snuggle Exhilaration Scent Booster Packs. Okay, so I actually got a text that I'm able to come into the hair salon anytime after 10.30. And my appointment's at 11, so they're letting me come in earlier. I'm down to do that, but I'm going to make sure I can bring food and drink inside. Or I can finish my sandwich before I go in. But as far as a drink, I feel like that'll be easier to take in, so I'm just going to ask. I said, hey, okay, awesome, thank you so much. Is it possible to bring a drink inside? If not, that's totally fine. But these little scent booster packs are so fun. I think they definitely make a difference because my clothes smell so good and I washed them last night. This is what they look like and the little plastic just dissolved in the washing machine. They smell so good. So if I'm not using these, if I use these, I'm not gonna use these, but these are the Gain Scent Booster and Blissful Breeze. These are little scent beads that smell really good, but I think these actually work better. Ooh, the both of them together would be bomb though because those smell so good to disinfect my clothes I did get some tips from Chloe Yasmin on YouTube if you can't tell I will either use I've been using this lifestyle laundry sanitizer But she actually brought up an alternative to put some pine salt in there Which is a disinfectant as well and it smells really good. So all of those together Your clothes won't be smelling good as fuck I'm gonna put these back because this ain't no laundry at all. Well, since that's the case that we can go ahead and head over there earlier, I might as well go ahead and leave the house, get my food, and then since I can go in earlier, if I do finish my food and my drink before 11, I can still go ahead inside. So, let's go ahead and put some socks on. Almost forgot my car tripod. But I tell you guys about my bed too. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna open some windows for them so once the sun comes out, if it does today, at least I can see. Bye guys! It's literally the new year. It smells like. Oh my god, that scared the shit out of me. It smells like straight up gas in here. No, whenever I get off the elevator, it looks like it was me. It looks like I had it. And watch there be somebody at the bottom. I have 48 miles of gas, but that'll get me to and from. Okay, I'm in the car now. It's 10:19. Oh, uh, my earring fell out. Oh, the back is gone. This mask was kind of tugging at it, and I didn't realize that the back end came off. That sucks. Well, I don't want to lose them because I love these earrings. So. We're just gonna take them out, and I can put them back in when I get home. All right. Let's go to Starbucks. I'm so excited. It's actually been a minute. And since I don't go every single day now, it makes it special when I go. They never answered me if I could bring food or drink in there. Or I just said drink, but drink. Probably like you dumb bitch, did you not read the website? I normally bring a cup of water, but 
I overanalyze everything. I will ask a shit ton of questions just so I'm completely certain instead of not being certain. We're on the way to Starbucks now before we head to my hair appointment. And I know some of you guys may be thinking, bitch, again? You just bleached your hair, love. Let's tone it down, love. Um, no. I'm actually not bleaching my hair today. Today's drive today's video actually marks the end of an era y'all know where i'm going with this because i am dying my hair brown my hair is going back to brown and i'm so excited and a lot of us are excited about it because if you follow my spam account if you don't you gotta follow it because i went live on there maybe a week or two ago we were talking about my hair and i was just explaining the way i've been feeling about it and how i've been you know thinking about going back to my natural color some people were like no oh my gosh like i'm gonna miss the blonde but then most people were like girl please like yes miss the brown we was on the live stream talking about how if i keep this up i'm about to be bought and broke by the end of the year so i am so excited personally okay and here are my reasons you guys know on my spam account i'm always going down memory lane i'm always looking back at old pictures videos because i just like to look back at my past you know happy memories the last couple of summers have been fun and i just always go back and look at old posts so recently when i've been doing that of course my hair is a completely different color than it was a year or so ago in my car it looks dark but it's definitely it's definitely lighter i'm like okay wait a minute because i actually really like the brown kind of missing my natural color it doesn't take me much contemplating or as soon as i have an idea like i kind of just make an appointment so i filled out a color consultation on the website that i get my hair done at i got an email back and uh scheduled an appointment so i'm going back to brown y'all will not see me go to the hair salon to fry my hair any longer and even though the lady that does my hair is so talented she is certified to work with curly hair she's done an amazing job that's not the problem i'm just wanting to go back to my natural color and i'm I'm super excited i have absolutely no doubts about it i've been thinking about this since before i even booked the appointment i don't have doubt of me not liking it because i had my natural hair color for 17 years so i know what it looks like and i only had the blonde for a year it's not like i've been blonde my whole life and i'm going to a darker color i'm going to the natural color i came out my mom's cooch with love oh my gosh i'm so excited whenever i booked my appointment or whenever i was messaging the lady that does my hair because i scheduled an appointment but i was also talking to her through instagram because i talked to my hairstylist personally tattoo artists piercer everyone we're tight i reached out saying that i wanted like a chocolate brown but i was looking back at my old pictures because my inspiration for this look is myself <laughs> i've cat hair but today's appointment i'm not gonna be straight up dying dyeing my hair and not permanently dyeing it i'm basically doing what they call a glaze so it is going to darken my hair but it's going to fade i think she said after three months or so i'll probably have to get it touched up at first i was a little iffy about that because i was like why don't we just go straight to dyeing it girl your your hair your poor hair yeah so in that case i thought this was a healthier option for me and then it also allows me to you know go back to brown make sure i really like it i want to keep it and then maybe later on i could straight up dye it but i don't think that's the best for my hair's health right now so we're not gonna do all that but i'm literally so excited hold on hey welcome to starbucks this is victoria what can i get started for you hey can i get a venti um uh, hold on chai cream frappuccino with three shots of espresso please sure and then can i also get a impossible breakfast sandwich you got it and that'll be it all right 1396 we'll see you at the window thank you thank you it's crazy because anytime i post a throwback picture or just a video on my story from a year or two ago people slide up and they're like i miss the brown hair oh wait the brown hair kind of hit it. Oh yeah, I kind of missed the brown. And a couple people in my DMs, I've told them I'm going back. But if people just commented on my Instagram, I don't say nothing. I want to so bad. Like the appointment is booked, I promise you. But I just didn't want to say anything until this video. I can't wait. And I know people may say, girl, all of these appointments, all this time to get to blonde and now you're just going back to brown. Yep, I had the blonde. It's had its moment, but now we're going back. And especially for the cooler months, I feel like dark hair is more suiting. And I feel like dark hair is just more fitting for my personality anyways. The blonde was cute, but why is my phone freezing? They're coming out with a 13 already. Literally everything is freezing. Messages don't work. Camera roll doesn't work. Won't let me read start it I feel like I was gonna say something I got my food I got an impossible breakfast sandwich which I've never had before and then my new favorite drink from Starbucks it's been a minute okay I didn't think I'd ever be able to say that this is a venti chai cream frap with three shots of espresso in it 
first I was like, where am I going? This shit is strong. I'm about to have to go to the bathroom, um, mid appointment, blow that shit up to be exact. <laughs> Not too loud. Ooh, that's some strong shit. Taste test. Ooh, what's up? Greasy. And this gets on my clothes. Mm -mm. We're gonna have a problem because that shit don't come out. Mm -mm. My hair will grow. No napkins, really. <laughs> um, I like how I did all this explaining about why I'm going back to brown hair. Number one, nobody cares. And then I feel like a majority of people are probably happy. They're like, finally. It's 1037. I'm gonna end up getting there around the original time that they told me. What am I talking? I didn't like that sandwich as much. I'm definitely gonna wanna eat again as soon as I finish, but I do have food at home. I'm gonna eat lunch at home, and then I'm gonna make myself cook dinner because I have stuff to cook dinner. I'm not buying it. Okay, make sure I don't have leftovers on my face. And we're about to head that way. It is 10.51. Okay, I'm gonna bring my bag so I'm not walking around with my wallet. I should have my door closed this whole time. See, I was just thinking about this, how they told me I could come at 10.30. It's 10.53, but was I still supposed to say I'm here before I start walking? Ugh. I did text him that I'm on the way. Hi. How do you pronounce your name? Uh, as Leo. Okay, I thought you had me. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm going to show off for that with So I'm sitting in the chair now, and I have this plastic cap on my head. And things happened quickly, which is good. We got right to the point. We went ahead and started the process, but... So I'm just gonna explain what they explained to me the best I can. I'm not a professional, but she made it pretty clear what she's gonna be doing to my hair. So basically she started, I sat in the chair, and she started by showing me a chart, and she was just showing me just a bunch of different shades, different hair colors, and it started from blonde, and the tones of blonde would be different throughout the chart. It was like actual hair samples, or not real hair, but hair samples and then the ones underneath were brown so she was showing me where I am now she had made sure you know she showed me the color that I was talking about to make sure that was correct and it is my hair naturally on the hair chart that she showed me is a four which is dark brown what she had told me that they're gonna do is do a glaze in my hair and they have to glaze my hair three different times so I had asked what a glaze really is because I wasn't completely sure what a glaze was and it's basically demi permanent hair dye and I didn't know the difference of semi permanent hair dye and demi permanent hair dye hair dye and demi-permanent instead of actually removing color from my hair they just deposit color so that's why once this does happen to fade after months it's because my hair color underneath was never removed there was just color placed on top of it so she said the glaze is also a healthier option for my hair it's not going to be as strong it's going to be more conditioning and it's not going to be as harsh on my hair so I thought that was perfect and she said we're going to have to do three glazes so this is the first one and I think it's crazy how it looks yellow but it's going to make my hair dark she told me we're gonna leave this one in for about 20 minutes But she's gonna check on me after 10 just to see how everything is looking My hair should be you know a couple shades darker once we take this out and then we're gonna do another one And then we're gonna do another one. and overall it's going to be less intense than just straight-up hair dye And she was saying that if I were to do straight-up hair dye It would just deposit onto my hair weird It wouldn't look right and also whenever I got here I was just kind of explaining my reasonings for going back dark just to kind of explain where I was coming from and why I think it's a better option for me And she also had a great 
point and she was saying with the way I wear my hair you know how I wear my hair up a majority of the time and most of my videos my hair is up it doesn't really make sense for me to be straight up blonde because you're always just gonna see grown out root if I always wore my hair down it would be different but I don't so there's really no point but yes I'm very excited we got this perfect cap on my head and she showed me what the end result is gonna be like so I am so excited I cannot wait okay Excited. Sometimes you really don't appreciate things until they're gone. Like I can't believe how excited I am to have my natural hair color. I'm so excited. I can just slowly see it get darker every time they put a new blaze in. I get so excited. Never did I think I would be coming to this hair salon to get the opposite color than what I originally discovered this hair salon for. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I literally love it. I'm in love with it. I feel like I don't look myself, but this is this is myself. Like this is girl, this is your hair. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my god. This is crazy. Isn't it crazy? I literally love it. I love it too. I like it more. Oh my god. It looks so good. Thank you. And I the pictures you sent me. When you were, okay, you know you would send me pictures when you would do like your hair, like the blonde? Yeah. It would look dry, but this one doesn't <laughs> look dry. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. No, exactly. It would look dry only because obviously they're not putting the products you put in it, like like they don't do your hair routine like how you Yeah, that's what I explained. They just do a different routine, so I can't expect it to look the same, but. Yeah, but here now like it doesn't look dry yeah it looks so much better and you would think because they just dyed it it would look like shit or even worse thank you <laughs> no but i literally love it this is so good i'm so excited to see you like style it differently now and like just do like me too i literally love it and i feel like i look younger but in a good way like yeah. i really like it oh <laughs> okay no, I just wanted to show you. Okay, so I'm so happy with the results. I love how it's more of a chocolate brown, so it's not completely back to my natural color. If I wanted to go darker, I could, but this color is actually really beautiful, and I don't know if I've necessarily had this color in my hair before, but oh my gosh! I love it so much. I appreciate you guys just being straight up and saying, girl, it's time to go back, love. This is me. This is me right here. Okay, I took a picture of my blonde hair this morning. Well, it was in a pineapple this morning. She's gone, lad. She's gone. Or even this picture right here. Wait. But I was talking to my mom and I was just saying how it's going to look a lot better brown. But she was saying how you don't have to find something wrong with the current state in order to change it. So I thought that was true too. Like I don't need to shit on myself or shit on my hair just because I want to change it. So the blonde hair, it had its time, you know, the highlighting sessions. It was cute content, but it wasn't cute for my hair's health. So we're going to have to call it quits and I will not miss it. <laughs> So, I'm about to go into Target because am I still trying to come up with excuses? I actually have a couple hair products that I always use in my hair. They are essentials and I'm completely out of them. The Camille Rose Curl Maker, completely out of that. And then also the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie. Those are two products I use religiously and I don't have any more. So I'm just gonna go ahead and run in here, go ahead and get what I need to get and then we can head home. I only have 29 miles, but I don't need any more than that to get home. So in that case, I'm not getting gas. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe my hair is brown. I love it so much. 
I just got out of Target. Didn't film much in there. Sorry, got nervous. But I got some great product. And I'm very excited to show you guys what I got. Which we are going to do once I get home. Because I need to start getting some food in my system. It's been a little too long. That ain't the baby. That's my a long clock or some shit, you know. I ain't tripping off of nothing. I even got a chance to eat. I'm on my way to get Didn't even look this way once last. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this is gonna be my first time in my bathroom since I've lived here with like straight up brown hair. I know. That is crazy. Volume, nowhere to be found. And I would wash it so I could get my regular curl pattern back so I can see what it looks like. There's like a hair dye still on my face. But she said to not wash my hair for maybe a couple of days to just make sure the color can set and uh, it doesn't go anywhere. So I'll definitely wait for that. And my hair was just washed, so I do not want to strip my hair anymore. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it up as I do after a hair salon appointment because it's never my favorite look right after my appointment I like to do my own routine to it and then we're good to go but for now we're just gonna put it up in a pineapple and I'm gonna lay my edges oh yeah that edge gel I brought back up but the the little toothbrush I don't know where it went but I have other ones so I'll just use one from under the sink so I have my edge gel here this is the cream of nature pure honey edge control we're gonna lay my edges my hair is definitely soft also, I didn't throw my drink away because you're telling me the one time I finally actually go to Starbucks and you don't even drink half of it. Yeah, I'm not happening, so I'm going to make sure I drink it. At least more that I have, but that's not the best drink to have sit around. Certain drinks are fine hours later. This one... Quite. Well, waiting a couple days to wash my hair works because one, I just got it done so I wouldn't want to wash it right after anyways, and two, it'll be perfect. So by the end of this video, once our transformation is complete, I'll be able to wash my hair and, you know, we can see what the finished look looks like. You can actually see the edges I'm laying, which is crazy. Normally, they're so light. I tried to lay my edges, but ain't nothing hit like that style factor edge control, so it didn't really do anything. I need to get more of that. I just haven't. I haven't been to a beauty supply store at all recently it's been a while i need to just make time to go or actually plan to go because they have it all no more blonde azzy oh i love it y'all see how it's more red on the top it looks even more red on camera because the light is above me but my hair definitely has a warmer undertone because in order for her to add those pigments back into my hair she has to go by different kind of different levels so if i wanted to go darker next time i could but i like the chocolate brown but if i wanted to go darker it's always an option but i don't think i've ever had this specific color in my hair before and i really like it so it's different it's dark but it's not almost black like my hair used to be so we're gonna do a little little target haul because your girl definitely got some good products and some products i was already using consistently and then a couple that we are going to be trying so let's start with the ones that you guys are probably tired of seeing first we have the shea moisture curl enhancing smoothie oh my gosh this product is absolutely amazing if you have dry hair if you have thicker hair that needs a lot of moisturization this is the product for you i also got another camille rose curl maker i've gone through multiple different bottles of this this is one of my favorite styling products it's definitely on the lighter side if you're looking for more of a jelly type of styling product that's not going to weigh your hair down this is the way to go. This shit is bomb. So then tell me why. Maybe I just forgot. But I don't remember being aware that they had a coconut and hibiscus hair mask from this line. I was surprised to see this and I was super excited and there was no way I was going to leave the store without having it. So also, I picked up a hair product from the Pantene Gold series not long ago. They're co-wash and I absolutely love it. So I got another product from this line. I almost got one from Carol's Daughter, but I saw this and it looks like it could work well and then it's less expensive. So this is what it looks like. It surprisingly doesn't smell like anything. That's not important at all, but I just expected it to smell. The co-wash smells amazing, so I kind of was expecting a similar scent, but I feel like this product is going to work really well. We'll see how it works for my hair. I also got another lotion that I absolutely did not need, but I love this scent. This is the Vaseline Soothing Hydration. I don't know why I was thinking this was cucumber or something. It's not, but it smells. It does smell like cucumber to me, though. It smells so good, and I feel like this would be a lotion I would definitely put on, you know, first thing in the morning after a shower. It smells so good. And then also, I have been looking for an exfoliating washcloth everywhere, and I've been to two different Targets. I've been to Walmart. None of them had any. I was at Target today, so I talked to somebody that worked there to ask if they had any, and they said the ones they used to have there, they probably won't have in stock again, which is interesting to me. But she pointed me to this one, so I'm excited to use this. This thing feels hard as fuck. 
But that is everything I got at Target and I'm super excited to use these products. Okay, so this update is useless because I'm about to go to bed. It's like 1.30 in the morning. Um, since I last talked to you guys, I was just kind of chilling. I got 40 minutes into a video that I'm working on. I made dinner, that's good. Yeah, I've just been chilling. I never left the house again. Since I last talked to you guys, my hair's in this bonnet. I know when I wake up in the morning. I'm not gonna forget I have brown hair, but it is gonna hit me when I take my bonnet off in the morning, no matter how much I remind myself or think about it. I'm gonna go ahead and head to bed. I do wanna go to the gym in the morning, so I'm going to wake up at as decent of a time as it gets for going to bed at 1.30. We'll see. I'll probably wake up at like 9 30, 10. 9 30, probably. Let me go ahead and sit my alarm. But yes, my next appointment is tomorrow, but it's not until later on in the day. Yeah, I'm about to go ahead and start going to sleep. Really need to fix this sleep schedule, but I'll talk to you guys in the morning. <sighs> it's too cold. So, all right, we back to um, my hair not even showing up in the car. We love to see it or not see it. I have 27 miles. I could get where I need to go without gas, but it wouldn't be an enjoyable experience. So we're gonna go to the gas station. My nose is so cold. Okay, so I'm getting gas right now and then I'm gonna head to the gym I just went ahead and started today's footage, you know today's mini day in my life after I got out of the house Because I know sometimes whenever I vlog I start from the very beginning of my day as soon as I wake up to the end And I feel like sometimes like I know if I am ready to leave get out the house And I gotta wait on somebody else to get out the house. I'm pissed So I thought maybe you guys would appreciate not having to wait for me to do my whole little morning routine before I leave the house But I woke up I made breakfast and this morning. I had some of those Kodiak pancakes i talk about sometimes i had two of those and i had some greek yogurt with granola and fruit on it and then i got dressed in a workout fit did my hair which you cannot see <laughs> um this is what it looks like I literally love my hair i'm so happy that it is back to dark and it's just one solid color not no grown out roots almost platinum looking blonde which is pretty but i'm just happy to have the dark hair back i just feel like it suits me better there's this one piece right here that I was a little iffy about because I went to pull my hair up and I was like and I realized it was still kind of blonde but I mean my hair is blonde underneath the thing is my hair is still blonde underneath she just placed color on top of it but I feel like they may have missed a strand and at first I was worried the hair dye was already kind of slipping out of my hair kind of almost melting out of my hair but it was only with that one specific strand and since they kind of applied the hair dye all at once rather than really doing any crazy sectioning I figured they may have just missed a spot where the fuck am I going Hold on, I can't drive in. See, like, this is why I barely do no. This is about as drive with me as we get. I do drive with me as well. I don't do dedicated videos to drive with me because I would not get to my desired location. Um, I'm not good at multitasking. Or it depends, but normally, nah. Last time I talked to you guys, I was about to go to the gym. So I went to the gym earlier, got that workout done, came home, ate lunch, I showered, and then I worked on a video, barely. <laughs> I'm gonna finish that tonight. Since I had already showered and got ready, I just, you know, got dressed, put on some perfume that I hated the smell of, or I really don't like it. It's more of like a floral scent, which isn't really my thing. So I tried to mask it with another one and together they don't smell bad. It's just not my preferred fragrance. And now I remember why I haven't used it in a while. But um, I have a nail appointment at 625 and I'm so excited because I've not got my nails done since my last transformation video or like my come to my appointments video with me where I got the red wig. I have not got my nails done since and that was pretty sure over three weeks ago. And you could definitely tell I wasn't gonna show you guys my nails until right before my appointment because I didn't want to draw attention to how busted they looked until I was about to get them fixed so I'm gonna show you guys what my nails look like when we get there it's getting really bad but before I head over to my appointment I'm gonna get some food because I'm hungry and I should have enough time to eat it before I get there on the way so that's what we're gonna do super excited I'm gonna go for a more simple set this time around I was honestly trying to figure out what I was gonna get done today I didn't know I mean leading up to this appointment I had had another idea in mind but then I kind of changed my mind because I thought it was not too much I was just wanting to go for a more simple look this time around and that set was definitely not simple so it's just not what I wanted to do 
do this time around um, maybe another time but I'm very excited to eat my stomach is eating itself so we're gonna pick up some food and I'll get back with you guys in a little bit alright guys so this is a before of my nails this is like the root three weeks of grow out crazy this is the set that used to have the rings in it but I took them out because they were getting stuck in my hair horrible but they did stay on other than this one which I broke when I was cleaning but other than that at least they're still they're still on there but I am super excited about this new set because this this guy got it's getting old and I'm excited to have them a little bit shorter <laughs> I just got off a of FaceTime with Lee. I called him the whole way. I was on the way back to my place. I have my mac and cheese from Chick-fil-A. It's not like it's about to blow up in the microwave because I just recently started getting the Chick-fil-A mac and cheese. At first I was hesitant because my little sister used to get it and she would eat it in the car and it smelled like feet. I was like, that does not smell good. But it's actually so bomb. I really like it. <clears throat> it's like a mixture of Kraft mac and cheese and Thanksgiving mac and cheese. It's like a good combination of the two. It definitely is nowhere near Thanksgiving mac and cheese, but it's definitely better than what you make in the box. Got my mac and cheese. I ate my chicken nuggets on the way there. And literally before I even put the first nugget in my mouth, before I even put it in my mouth, I got the sauce all over this jacket. So I have this little like, I have this OxyClean gel stick, which normally works pretty well. So I'm gonna put this on my jacket and wash it tonight to get this stain out. It should be good. But, oh, so I got my nails done and you guys have already seen them, but just pretend. <laughs> But just pretend you haven't seen them yet. They're so pretty. I absolutely love these. As you can see, I got them shorter than I normally get them. And I'm so happy about that because I was just kind of getting tired of the claws. Or I just feel like the shorter nails will be a little more efficient for me. Especially with working out. Like, why the fuck are you going to the gym with long ass claws? If you can get a workout in with some long ass claws, you are a bad bitch. But just wasn't necessary for me. And to me, I had a good point because we had cut the nails to this length. And she was saying how this length actually looks good. Good on you because I already have pretty long fingers as you can see I got some bony ass long ass hands and I feel like this length it just suits my fingers more I love how it's just more neutral but it also has a little hint of some red I'm still in love with my hair so I'm gonna go ahead and just eat this mac and cheese and then I'm gonna get ready to take a shower because I feel disgusting and I literally have had sauce on me for the last couple of hours also I got this lotion that you guys may have heard me mention Chloe Yasmin in my last video but she had recommended this lotion that smells like baby powder I'm not even the biggest fan of the scent of baby powder at all like I've never really thought of it to be like a desirable scent like something I would go out of my way to smell like but I still ordered this and it smells like straight up straight up baby powder it definitely smells fresh and clean but I don't know how I feel about smelling like baby baby bottom I'm gonna still use it because I was excited for this to come without really thinking about what it would smell like I could see this growing on me and I feel like it would pair really well with a very fresh scented perfume let me eat my let me eat my mac and cheese All right, you guys, so I just got out of the shower. I washed my face and I used my baby powder lotion. I don't know how I feel about it yet. I feel like it could definitely grow on me and I'm definitely gonna use it regardless. It's definitely not a scent that makes me feel sick because I have certain fragrances and scents that I just can't use. And I mean, it's lotion, it would fade off anyways. I like how at the bottom it says gentle enough for sensitive skin. That's not promising. The only things I haven't done yet as far as my little routine is brushing my teeth and taking my hair out of this bun. We're gonna take it out of this bun. And I was just gonna, sometimes if I have a high bun like this, I'll just take my ponytails out and then I'll put, oh my gosh, that feels so good. Just a scrunchie wrapped around my hair instead and I'll sleep like that. But there's really no reason for me to not sleep with a bonnet on. So we're just gonna still sleep in a bonnet. Tomorrow, I'm either gonna do either a slick bun again, but I feel like it may look a little too frizzy tomorrow 
out. So I'm probably gonna slick my hair back. I'm not sure. I kind of want to wear a bun one last day before I slick it back. So we'll see how it's looking tomorrow. I'm gonna put my hair in my bonnet. Um, that's pretty much it. The rest of the night, I'm going to be editing and I'm excited. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. But my hair is in my bonnet. Let's go ahead and brush my teeth. I'm so excited to use the new hair products I got. Some aren't new, but I'm just excited to wash my hair. I feel like this color is really gonna hit different once um, I actually wash my hair and we got my tighter curls going on because every time I get my hair done, the curls don't look the same until I wash it. So I'm so excited to wash it because it's always different to see how my natural curl pattern looks with my hair color. But this time it's gonna be really different because I have not seen my hair this dark in like a year. It's crazy. I used my exfoliating washcloth for the first time. This new one excuse me that shit hurts um my last one did not hurt nearly as bad that shit feels like it's literally scraping off a layer of my skin and it is scraping off dead skin cells but they be taking that up to a whole new level definitely up a notch um but it is a different brand than the one i was using before but overall my skin does feel super clean i've been seeing people use a dry brush in the shower let me show you it's wet because it's been in the shower but i got this shit a while ago i would have never thought to actually bring it in the shower but i was seeing people use it in the shower like it was a loofah or some shit i tried to you know i tried to give that a shot I think that exfoliating washcloth hurts. That shit hurts. How are y'all doing that? Like that is so rough. I don't know if I'm just being dramatic or what, but I don't know how y'all are doing that, but props to you, cause that shit is pain. Didn't I just get this lotion? I'm cleaning off my counter, so y'all can't call me out about me just cleaning my face and it's already dirty. Don't do me. Girl, I didn't even have space. Like I had space in here for what I got in here like a week ago. It's getting bad. So I just got done messing with my nose ring for a good 20 minutes or so. As you can see, it's red as fuck. It's irritated. And the reason for that was because I'm always like messing with the piercings on my face and stuff. I'm always touching my septum ring, messing with it, stuff like that. But I had this nose stud in my nose before and it has an L bar. It's not a super curvy nose ring. It's just an L bar. But I went to go mess with it and I pulled it out of my nose a bit and I was just gonna push it back in. I was trying to push that shit back in for a good 20 minutes and it would not go through. I took it all the way out and tried to put it back in and it did not work. So I dumped out all of my jewelry here and I was seeing if I had any other nose rings that weren't as complicated to put back in because I don't know why I was having such trouble with that. But there was no more in there. So I had one more of these little nose rings that I ordered from that website. It's similar to the one I had in before, but it doesn't dangle. So it's still a bigger nose ring, but it um, doesn't hang off my nose. This is what it looks like. It's cute. I had to put something in my nose because I was not about to have it close up, but this one was easier to put in because it's more like a hoop and hoops are a lot easier to put in, in my opinion, especially when it's already irritated. You don't want to keep trying to maneuver a nose stud into your nose, especially when the bar is curved. So that's why that's in. And I'm going to just go ahead and leave that in. I don't even know where my but finally now that i'm done with that i can put this jewelry away and it's seriously 12 30 already but it's all good uh. all right you guys so i just got into the car right now. It's actually 6 17. I haven't talked to you guys all day because I've not done anything all day other than get on a call at 12. I was on FaceTime for a little bit and then I finished a video. My next video that's going up. Yeah, it's been a super laid back day and y'all would have been bored. I'm trying to keep this video solely focused or at least more focused on my actual appointments because that's the whole point of this video and I don't want y'all to get bored. So, you know, just all the extra stuff that's super laid back. Like if I'm not really doing anything, I I just didn't really take my camera along with me. That content is for my day in my life videos. This is not a day in my life video, but you guys still get a little bit of both. My actual appointments and then me just kind of talking, running errands, stuff like that. For today's appointment, this is actually my last appointment for this video. And I'm actually on my way, or I'm about to head that way to go get two tattoos. And no, I did not book no damn tattoos for a transformation video. They have been booked in advance and I scheduled all of my other appointments leading up to this appointment. I thought it would be super cool to add 
add my tattoo experience to this video because I definitely think it's going to contribute to this transformation quite a bit but I did not book these appointments for the video I really feel like both me getting my hair dyed the blood is completely gone and then me getting new tattoos I feel like that's about the biggest transformation we've done on my channel the wig was a big transformation too but it was off after like four days oh yeah I did go to the grocery store as well and I just got groceries but I also got these kettle cooked jalapeno chips I forgot these are so good and I have water with me and um, I would have just brought this cup but it was already in the car because I normally leave this in here for when I go to the gym it's just already in the car or I'll forget it but with all that being said we're going to head to my tattoo appointment all right so I just got here I ran into just a little bit of traffic on the way it's 6 47 and I don't want to be in there like super early um I'm gonna at least wait till 6.50. 10 minutes early, that's good. I didn't eat these on the way, I forgot they were here. pretty much like directly in line with your hand, right? Yeah. Okay. I think I could. Yeah, she did. Yeah, I like, um... Where will her mail go? Do you have to memorize all that? No, you just read it. And finally... I can move it if I need to. I can angle it differently if you want it to have like more of a turn. But go look, let me know what you think. Sending grand files there. Quincy so you planning on sleeping up yet? On what? Sleeping up yet? Um, I don't think I'll ever do a full sleeve, but probably half. Yeah. Let's say you're starting to get bigger pieces. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, you ready? Yeah. Yeah. But overall, 
tattoo experience went well. It did not take long at all. My appointment was at 7. We didn't even get started till around 7.15, 7.20. It's 8.50. That's crazy because the one on my arm was starting to feel a little bit lengthy just because it was very uncomfortable. <laughs> but, you know, we got it done. It definitely wasn't unbearable. And I'm excited to show you guys what both of them look like once I get home. I'm about to swing by my family's house. And then after that, I should probably go to Walmart because I don't have a soap to clean my tattoos which is so annoying because girl don't you be doing this shit every other week and you still ain't got nothing to clean your shit really? um I mean I had a soap but uh, it's running out could I use Castile soap I got lavender Castile soap but that's scented and I don't think I should use anything Yeah, that's pushing it. So I think Walmart stays open pretty late. They should be open by the time I leave my family's house because I'm just swinging by. And I probably won't leave any later than 9.30. My arms, both my arms are burning, but it's not horrible. And then the saran wrap that she puts on my arms kind of applies pressure to the tattoo. So it's not as intense. First of all, Oh, I don't know why I don't like this lighting. It's not not doing it for me. Mm, that's not safe if you still want a camera after. Oh. This is fine, but you can't see me. I'm starting to shower. My shit stink. All the extra shit to be in the same spot. But hey guys, I am back home. Happy to be home. I did go over to my family's house, spent some time over there. I literally played with slime and showed my family my tattoos. On the way home, I did not go to Walmart. I went to McDonald's though, and I got a strawberry banana smoothie from McDonald's. I forgot how good these are, and I used to get these all the time, and I also got a large fry, but we already ate that. And then I did not go to Walmart because I have the smallest bit of this antibacterial soap left and this is gonna be enough for tonight and i wasn't trying to go to walmart at like 9 30 at night i don't even feel safe doing that so we're back at the house now and i put on a t-shirt and we are about to take the wrapping off of my tattoos still pretty red Ooh. oh my gosh it's so clean. I like how the leaves are more detailed, but the flowers are a little more simplistic. They're not as filled in, but they are shady. And she did add detail to them, but it's just the perfect balance of the two. We have my scorpion. Okay, so slight intermission. Lee had called me to give me a target haul, as he should. And now we're about to wash my tattoos. I guess I do this before I get in the shower, but then it's like, but then if I were to do it after, maybe I do it after or I could wash them in the shower, but I feel like that defeats the purpose of us doing it together. So I'm just going to go ahead and get in the shower, you know, take a body shower because I feel disgusting. And then afterwards we can really focus on cleaning the tattoos themselves because I'm definitely going to avoid them in the shower just due to it burning. And then I don't want all of my other products to touch them. So yeah, going to go ahead and hop in the shower and I'll talk to you guys once I get out. All right, you guys. So I am out of the shower. I'm nice and clean. I went ahead and moisturized the rest of my body that my new tattoos are not on with this baby powder lotion is kind of growing on me it definitely smells like straight up baby powder but i've been using it since i got it and the thing about lotion is you're not going to smell like the lotion you applied in the morning all day anyway but i do get the freshness factor that people are talking about and i'm gonna keep using it I'm, i'll use it but we are about to wash this tattoo and my scorpion but i'm gonna wash my hands first because i don't want product that i was using on other parts of my body on my new tattoos because they're very sensitive and basically an open wound all right so you guys probably know how this goes. Now we're going to dry it. This tattoo cleaning wise is nothing compared to the butterfly on my rib cage at all. That's definitely making this process a lot easier. My Vaseline is in the kitchen, but I'm gonna go ahead and clean this other one and just apply Vaseline to both of them at the same time.
So you guys see how this tattoo matches my dragon. They're the same theme. We got the hibiscus flowers on my arm and on my thigh. That's why I'm really happy I got this tattoo on this arm because I just feel like this looks good together. And then I have, I'm trying to show both, um, but there is a tattoo on both triceps. This one's a little bit smaller. Whenever we lined them up, they were similar in height, but not in width, obviously. This one's definitely wider. It's just a bigger tattoo overall. Takes up more of my tricep. I'm about to take my hair out of this bun. I was so shocked that my hair looked decent in a bun day two. But then I remembered I dyed my hair. It's not blonde anymore, so you can't see when my hair looks dry as shit. Even though it's definitely dry right now. And it still looks better than it did when I actually tried with my hair blonde. I honestly miss the brown so much. Um, Tomorrow I'm going to slick it back because the bun has had its time, but it's we're pushing it. All right, guys, so. <laughs> All right, so it's literally almost 12 o'clock in the morning and I'm ready for bed. I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt because I realized I have two shirts that are short sleeve that are just comfortable lounge shirts. Or is it one? I, I um just realized I want to get more tees that I could just chill out in. Lee's coming over tomorrow and we may go thrifting. I really want to go thrifting to just find just comfortable t-shirts to wear. I would absolutely love to do that. So that's probably something that we'll do tomorrow. But for now, I'm wearing this long sleeve shirt and I have this sleeve rolled up because I definitely don't want my shirt rubbing against this. But the other one, it'll be fine. It's small, so I'm not concerned. But I still need to brush my teeth. I just ate a fruit roll up there chilling next to my bed. But I am about to just brush my teeth. And I have Lee on FaceTime because I wanted company while I edit for the next hour or so before I knock out. So we're just gonna be, you know, chilling, getting some work done, doing our thing. And that's all I'm gonna do for the rest of the night. So I am going to get back with you guys when it's time to put together and present to you guys guys the full transformation okay you guys so it is now january 9th the last day of our new year's transformation so for today for the last day we have to you know put everything together we went to all of our appointments but now it's time to really put a look together with everything that has happened in this video if that makes sense so i've yet to wash my hair since i got it done so that's what we'll be doing today and i am so excited because my hair is in much need of a wash. And I'm really excited to see how my natural curls look with this hair color because I've yet to, I've yet to see that. So that'll be super interesting and I'm very excited. We're also going to be doing my makeup and then we're gonna put on an outfit and Lee and I are actually going to go to the one and only parking deck to go take some pictures. It's actually been a minute. So it's kind of perfect timing to do that since I'm about to get ready anyway. And I'm so excited. I haven't really got like super done up in a little bit very excited for that but this is um the before this is what my hair is looking like i want to wash my face you know just do our whole little hygiene routine all the products i got the other day i think are in here actually i don't see any of them I'm kind of scared to use this because I don't know if it'll work for me. It should be fine. We got the curl enhancing smoothie and I'm going to use this mask in the shower. Yeah, so it says you can leave it in for five minutes or if you wanted a deeper treatment, you could put a plastic cap on and leave it on for 30, but I did not prepare to do that. So we're just going to use it as a deep conditioner in the shower like I would normally do with any of my hair masks, but my hair is very much dry and I'm so excited to see what it looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to hop in the shower, wash my hair and my body, do the whole nine, and I'll get back to you guys once I'm done. All right, you guys, so I am out of the shower and I'm done washing my hair. So I'm really eager to see what my hair looks like. I wanna take it out of the towel now, but that's gonna make it really challenging to do my makeup with my hair all over the place. So in that case, we're gonna go ahead and do this makeup. I don't know what the hell I'm wearing, but that's another problem for another hour. So, so we're just gonna go ahead and start with my makeup. I'm using my gloss priming moisturizer to start Okay guys, so the makeup is done and I am super excited to see what my hair is going to turn out looking like for the very first time since I got it done. So we're going to go ahead and take it out of the towel. 
Okay, so this is what my hair is looking like before I diffuse it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get out the blow dryer and you already know how this works by now. I'm gonna go ahead and diffuse my hair and I'll get back to you guys once it's pretty much done drying. I can't move in these damn ants. All right, you guys, so for my outfit, I kind of just put this idea together while I was getting ready. So this top is from, I think, Windsor. It's just a ribbed t-shirt, it's short sleeve. It's fitting, it's comfortable, I like it. These pants are from PacSun. These are cargo pants. That's what they're called on the website. I got them online and this is actually my first time wearing them and I absolutely love them. And then I'm also wearing this long sleeve jacket. Super comfortable and oversized. All right, you guys. So I am done getting ready. My outfit is done. My makeup is done. My hair is done. And with all of that being done, we have come to the end of this video. I don't know what it is about transformation videos. I just never feel like it's a good time to end the video. Not looking forward to it, but all of my appointments are done and I'm so excited. We were able to, you know, go through this process process together. I had so much fun and I'm super happy with the finished look and I'm excited to go into this new year, you know, with just a couple couple little changes that I was really looking forward to. I love how my hair turned out. This chocolate brown, I absolutely love and I'm super happy with the color and I'm excited that, you know, I finally washed it and saw what my curls look like with this new color. So with all that being said, that is going to be it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have got all the way to the end and you have not subscribed yet and you would like to, please Please make sure to do so also if you enjoyed the video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up thank you guys so much for watching i love you all so much and i'll see you guys in my next video bye